Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is to talk about a huge security flaw that is in billions of devices literally it has to do with um, a mix of things that are all wireless and this has been of course discovered by some security researchers that are saying that a lot of devices are at risk and that some of them you can fix some of them will never get a fix and the more modern ones hopefully can have a fix and it has to do of course with all the wireless technology that we use uh, from Bluetooth to uh, Wi-Fi and uh, this has to do with the way that actually the devices routers and our phones have been actually aggregating all of that into one big technology that shares the basics of how all of this works in order to make things faster and more efficient. Now, like I said, some devices you can't fix. Uh, what this happens to do is that the security flaw that was discovered is that you can actually kind of sideload Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity and create a basically a crash in your devices that will actually um, give the opportunity to bad guys to steal passwords and um, information. Now, um, if you're using a PC, if you're using a smartphone of a very recent um, technology or very recent generation, chances are fixes are, are going to actually be pushed to fix as much as it is possible but there are devices and especially if you hold on to your smartphone for three four or five years that smartphone will not get a fix and will be vulnerable to attacks so how do you stay safe with that type of attack especially on your smartphones and tablets that might have a certain age the first thing you should do is if you don't use Bluetooth connectivity turn it off on all devices that you don't use it and when you actually use it only turn it on when you need to use Bluetooth with your device turn it off as soon as you don't need to use it anymore anyways this will have a good side is that your battery life will be better especially on mobile devices as for Wi-Fi um, instead of connecting especially because this really, really, um, the majority of the problem resides more in attacks on anything that is a public network because that's where the majority of attacks happen. You know, your own network might be at risk because your router might actually be one of those that isn't updated. For example, I have a Archer C7 uh, TP-Link um, AC router here. This thing does not and will not get any updates anymore. It's now several years old, and of course, they want you to buy something new. So chances are, my router is possibly at risk of some security flaw with this. But due to the nature of how of all of this, how it works, the attacks on you know your specific router are mitigated by the fact that, look, everybody has Wi-Fi around you. Why would they choose you rather than somebody else? And why would they choose people? Because one by one, you know, you don't even know what you're going to get and how important it is. You want to have as much as possible. So these bad guys, the hackers, they will actually hang out where public Wi-Fi happens because there they'll have access to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of connections every day. That'll be much more efficient for them to steal stuff. So... What is recommended is that if you are on a mobile device, you go on, you know, somewhere where there's public Wi-Fi, don't turn on public Wi-Fi. Use your data instead, because by using your cell data, you are actually on your own little connection that is not affected where nobody can snoop on. If you are connecting to a Wi-Fi public network, that's where it could be snooped on, especially if you have an older device that will not have a fix for it. So these are the recommendations. And uh, like I said, for your home network, I don't think there's much of a risk of anything. 
on public Wi-Fi, better not connect, better connect to your cell data instead and turn off Bluetooth when you don't use it. I think that's the best recommendations. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.